Welcome to the Metal Roofing Learning Channel's Standing Steam Series. We've teamed up with the experts at Revamp Roofing to bring you everything you need to know to install standing seam. Be sure to like and subscribe as we release new videos weekly. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know to plan the layout of your standing seam panels. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. Click the link above for your free quote today. Use of the following video content is subject to the warning, disclaimer of warranties, and limitation of liability as set forth on this screen. In this video, we will cover planning your panel layout, pipe penetrations, and preparing your roof for panel installation. Measuring and planning your panel layout. When laying out your panels, you need to plan the amount of panels needed to cover the width of your roof. If you're installing 18 inch panels and your roof is 182 inches wide, you will end up with a small two inch gap. A better option is to add the remaining distance needed to a full panel width of 18 inches and divide that by two. In this example, it would give us two panels at 10 inches. You would then start your run with one 10 inch panel, lay out nine full panels and finish with one 10 inch panel. Pipe penetrations. Pipes and other penetrations on your roof will also factor into your layout. You don't want the seam of a panel to land where a pipe is located. If there is a pipe at the panel seam of your layout, you may have to adjust the sizes of the first and last panels to compensate for the adjustment. If this is a newer build, or if you have access to the pipe runs, an alternative would be to cut the pipe and rerun it to where it would land in the middle of a panel. When removing a pipe, you'll need to make sure the cuts fall flush or below the roof line. You do not want any pipe pieces protruding and creating bumps on the metal roofing panels. Next, you need to cover the hole with a piece of flat stock. In this example, we have a four inch hole. It is recommended to cover the section with a 16 by 16 inch piece of flat stock. The flat stock is fastened using pancake screws two inches apart around the perimeter. Next, we seal the flat stock with a four foot by four foot piece of shark skin self-adhesive underlayment. Prior to panel installation, always clean your roof of all dust and debris. Inspect the roof for any protrusions. Often, you can find raised screws, nails, or leftover scrap sealed within the underlayment. These would have to be removed as they can damage or dent your standing seam panels. Underlayment should be cut as small as possible to access the object. Screws or nails should be either fastened flush to the roof line or removed. In this example, we have a loose screw. Once the object has been removed or flushed to the roofing line, a 12 inch round patch of shark skin self-adhesive underlayment should be placed to seal the hole. Looking for more standing seam installation videos? Be sure to like and subscribe as we release new videos weekly.